I completed this Dart 450 quadcopter about uh, three weeks ago and in that time uh, since I've gained a fair amount of experience sounds a bit excessive that, but a little experience uh, both flying at line of sight and FPV one of the things that I did uh, the other night was to fit a GoPro uh, camera you can probably see it in this position here that's just the case that's on because I'm actually recording with the camera uh, now um, and I had wondered where I was going to put uh, the camera prior to placing it there uh, because I couldn't get a, a setup um, that really suited my needs and then I thought um, what I can do is put it underneath as I have done but unfortunately the original legs that came with uh, the aircraft are here and as you can probably see uh, they're a good bit shorter uh, than the landing gear that I've put on it now which I cut out of dowel and then painted uh, matte black and then attached it uh, to these uh, motor arms uh, with a screw um, a washer goes on the top and a washer goes on the bottom so I've got quite a nice um, strong uh, arrangement there I think if you're looking at this as well you may be thinking well I'd have fitted a longer legs than that if I was going to do that but what I didn't want to do was make them too long because if I didn't get the landing absolutely uh, perfect uh, then the leverage the load on uh, the landing gear and on the arms could have been quite great so I compromised it is slightly off the ground I'm aware of that and I'm going to um, live with that what I've done is attached it by this uh, bolt here this little bolt here and there's only one little vibration washer uh, that separates the camera from the um, aircraft's structure from its frame but the front of that is my uh, Fat Shark <coughs> 700 TVO camera and I've made sure that the um, alignment of I'll just move that prop around there but the alignment of the GoPro and the FPV camera is uh, exactly the same uh, I went out and made a, a short uh, film of flying FPV and recording with the GoPro which I'm going to show in a, uh, a second and I've got to say that the quality of the video is okay there's no uh, as I've seen on other films jello effect but there does seem a little bit of blurring now that could be due to this flexing here a little bit of movement though so any high frequency vibrations could move that at a frequency that affects the quality of the picture what I may do to overcome that is fit um, th this is two millimeter prime would I would take that off and I'd fit um, a larger piece over this structure here and I do the same uh, underneath and bond it with epoxy and hopefully if that is bonded uh, further down the frame it could make that a bit more rigid and eliminate that um, effect but for anybody that is interested in uh, the Dart 450 I'm making this video <coughs> uh, so that you can see what I've done with uh, the GoPro and see what effects that has on the quality of the video uh, when the aircraft is uh, in the sky
stayed with that video and you're still with me, um, I thought I'd just, uh, for your information, let you know that I fly using an ancient uh, Futaba T6 EX transmitter stroke flight controller. And I used the Fat Shark base goggles. I tried it with a separate base station and being tethered uh, to the receiver, uh, but I didn't quite like that. So what I've done is I have combined uh, the transmitter flight controller with the Fat Shark um, receiver, or oh, sorry, with the immersion uh, receiver. And I've done that uh, using a piece of plywood it's just an ordinary piece of plywood which I've cut out into this shape here I stuck with these being quite old or with this transmitter being quite old I wasn't that bothered but I stuck some blocks onto the bottom and then I was able to then screw uh, this arrangement here into uh, the blocks and I put the batteries on the outside. This one feeds the uh, the transmitter, and this one feeds the receiver uh, for the um, FPV. So I just have to attach, say, that to that, and then ignite the goggles um, like that. If I switch on, I don't know whether you can see there. That's powered up the transmitter, and that's the way I do it. But it it. it does allow me to um, just have um, one easy unit and fly with these um, base goggles uh, in a non-tethered uh, way. It suits me fine. I just thought I'd put that in just in case anybody else has base goggles and might be something you might you might want to consider.